Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and uh, I have here with me the Nokia 808 Pure View and uh, today I'm going to show you the gallery application on the 808. Now as you might have already read or seen in videos, this is not the default uh, gallery app which Symbian uh, and Symbian Anna and Bell devices uh, have had uh, due to the new imaging chip on the 808 and the Mammoth 38 and 34 megapixel images Nokia has completely rewritten the gallery app in Qt so what you have on the 808 is a new gallery application now because of this rewrite uh, this a lot of features from the gallery app which we've known um, and been using on the Symbian edition are missing but on the plus side the new app is very very fast it uh, really zooms in the images quickly and as you can see the scrolling is super fast and uh, talking about the missing features uh, as you can see at the bottom there are no features no icons in the navbar like uh, unlike what you have on your Symbian and Anna devices Bell devices and uh, like you might be uh, using from your earlier devices there are no as such features or options available by long pressing an image and uh, let's take a look at the photo um, another missing feature from the gallery view main view is that uh, there is no landscape support so you can you only have your portrait support over here but once you open an image you have your landscape support uh, let's just sh let me show you what all features are available uh, the navbar it has an delete icon you have your uh, one click sharing with facebook because of the uh, story within a story mode on the full resolution images you have you have the option to crop where now as you can see you can I'll just keep it down where you can crop into your images and um, if you whenever you are satisfied you can simply save on the crop key and you can save a new image from the original image I'll show it to you with a better pick Now, this is a 38 megapixel image and uh, I'll show you how the zooming works. As you can see, I can zoom in very, very smoothly and it's instantaneous. It moves with my finger. There's no lag. Now, this is, this is one of the prime reasons why Nokia had to rewrite the gallery application. Now, yeah. Uh, once you've zoomed in and you uh, like this image better than the original image you can click on the crop icon and uh, it will show you it will again give you an option if you want to save this image it's uh, this uh, view itself or you want to zoom in or zoom out more I'll just zoom in more click on crop and uh, cropping and saving that's it it's as fast as that so this is the original 38 uh, mega, 38 megapixel image and this is the cropped image which I have saved. Let's just go back. So yeah, and uh, I was showing you before, very very fast scrolling. Let's take a look at the sharing options now. Uh, okay, now uh, this is the image of the Nokia N86 which I captured last night. And uh, say I want to share it on Flickr. Uh, from the navbar you have your one touch access to facebook but from the options menu you can click on share and uh, over here you'll also get an option to share your images on flickr and you just click you can enter your title or your comments you click on share and there you go as you can see the image uh, very nicely zoomed out of the screen in a nice animation so uh, yeah there you go 
let's see what all other options are provided in the options menu you have an edit option which uh, opens the photo editor on the 808 let's see what all options we have over here yeah you have uh, the option to correct red eye increase or decrease the brightness auto contrast I'll take it in my hand yeah. auto contrast it will automatically apply the effect you have um, there's an auto levels option which will I believe yeah automatically it will uh, see what all filters need to be applied and apply it you can revert back to the original image if you do not like what has uh, happened now this is again i can go undo another feature where the brightness was changed uh, the contrast was changed i'm sorry now you also have your manual contrast and saturation uh, options and uh, you can edit the rgb colors as well Next, uh, you can rotate your image, you can flip your image, uh, you have your crop and a resize option. And you can uh, add effects, clip art or frames to your image. Let's take a look at the effects. Um, as you can see. Now, a very nice, very cool feature. You have your... Uh, in very easy terms this is your Instagram support on the Symbian you click a photo you can edit you can apply a filter and then from the gallery you have one touch sharing with Facebook uh, along with filters you have clip art um, just some fun edits which you can do on your phone and then send over the file across your loved ones and you have an option for frames uh, this is seriously not uh, not a bad photo editor for to have on the phone and there you go that was your photo editor you have an option to uh, send the image you can uh, send it via MMS, via email, via Bluetooth or via WhatsApp. Now that was Symbian's uh, default send menu. So if any other app wants to hook into it, you'll have the option available as well. I have already showed you the share feature. So yeah, there you go. These are This is the gallery app on the Nokia 808 PO view. What uh, we are missing really right now uh, is an option to mark multiple images which uh, really makes it a hassle to delete all these images together on the Nokia N8 I would just mark my images and uh, delete them but on the 808 you either have to go to your file manager uh, but there then you don't have thumbnails or over here you have to delete the images one by one and yeah uh, suppose you click in images you click images on that day uh, a date uh, tag is added in your gallery app so uh, tomorrow there will be a 10th july tag over here that's it this was the gallery app on the nokia 808 view